Yo, what's good, bro? You see that new Fae banner? Uh, well, I don't, I don't really play Fae anymore after what happened last week. It's Shadows of Valentia. What? Bro, it's Shadows of Valentia. What? Tatiana's in the game. Let's go! Yeah! Whoa, Z. baby! We've been waiting Let's so go. long! Let's get it! Yeah! Woo! And yeah! Tatiana is in the game, baby! Alright, hello, my name is Jar Secrets, and today we'll be summoning on the midpoint book five, not and more summoning banner. Woo! I am really excited about this banner. Um, so of course we're gonna be going for blues, we're gonna be going for greens and reds. We're gonna be going on grays here. We're gonna go for uh, the spark, and I guess I think the top priority should be Zeke. I think he's the most interesting character out of this entire batch so i'm really looking forward to blues uh more than likely we will be pity broken by not which is fine but let's get into this bitch so shadows of valencia is a very popular game i think it's it's a very mixed bag in my opinion it's got a beautiful soundtrack beautiful like what's it a no not ai like interface like it's got a good look to it and like the the casting and and the voice work is just so beautiful. It's just such a good visual and audio experience. But from a gameplay point, it fucking sucks because it keeps the old maps from back in the day, and they're dog shit. <laughs> so <laughs> if if there's any Fire Emblem game I would recommend watching a playthrough of, it would definitely be Shadows of Valencia, just because I I think the gameplay and the maps are just so terrible, but. Nonetheless, it's a very popular game. It's it's one of the more recent ones too, which explains a lot. And the fact that we've been waiting such a long time for a Shadows of Valentia banner and for it to finally come out, especially after last week when Catcher was the Shadows of Valentia uh, represent representative, and people got a lot a lot a lot, a lot of a lot of pissy people getting mad about it. But you know. They had to they had to redeem it and you know people are happy people are happy i think a lot of people can be summoning on this bitch um i think last year they did i don't fucking know who it was but they it, it, it was like they did like a, an oc character and then introduced like three new characters and everything and then they had like a special little event thingy mabob with like a free character who the fuck is that that's a big boy who the hell is- it's Harden! Harden! Oh! Okay. That's actually pretty good. That go that goes well with, uh, I guess the character we're focusing on today. <laughs> Minus defense. Oh, that sucks. I might use him for, uh, bold fighter fodder. What was I saying? Yeah, so last year it was, um, I think Awakening with Sari and Emran. And Emran was, like, I guess, a, like, a, like a free unit, but then they implemented her uh, into the summoning pool later and this year shadows of valentia and tatiana is going to be our, our our free unit that we will eventually get in the summoning pool so i'm really happy about that i'm a bit surprised she's a blue mage like there's a lot of blue units i like to make like there's there's iliana may freaking claire like all the Pegasus Knights, like, I just, I have too many blue units I like to make, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> but, I'm gonna add Tatiana, I'm gonna make a plus 10 Tatiana, I really, really like her. She's so adorable, dude. And, I, I wouldn't say she's necessarily, like, a very important, uh, plot character. That goes more so to her husband, Zeke. Zeke! Played by Patrick Seitz, great voice actor. Um, so... In the original Fire Emblem game, Marth, they're, they're in, well, it started like an archetype, archi archetype with uh, Camus. I know it's spelled C-A-M-U-S, but apparently it's French, and that means it's spelled Camus. <laughs> Camus. So Camus is like a loyal, that's an Ellie Wood. Uh, it's a three star, but I do want to make a plus in Ellie Wood because he's stupid good. I'll pass. Anyway, um... Camus, he started an archetype where he's like the noble enemy 
of the of the army, but like you don't want to kill him, but you have to. You know, like another popular one is uh, Selena from Sacred Stones, the Black Knight, of course, from Radiant Dawn. Like it's 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 a bunch of like really cool characters that unfortunately you got to kill and they can't join your side because of like ideologies or story and shit. Oh, it's Paula! Woo! <laughs> The wrong version, though, but... <laughs> oh, it's plus attack! <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so... Uh... What the hell was I saying? Camus, he, he... He gets his ass beat by Marth, and, like, it was some Super Smash Bros. shit, where, like, Marth knocked him so far out, like, he, he slashed him with his fucking, you know, how far his sword range is. He, like, like you know, s side smashed, and then he, like, went flying off the continent and then he somehow ended in the fucking ocean and he like drifted to like Valentia which is like another de uh, country and he, he got his ass beat so bad he fucking got amnesia so what happened is that before that he, he was married to a girl named Nina who was a very important character in the story in uh, Marth's game and then you know he got his ass beat and he lost his memory so he forgot about Nina and then <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> okay, I will take that. Plus speed minus attack. I think that's literally the worst one. She's like really slow for some reason. Damn, she's thick. Holy crap. Whoa! Okay. I still think Katya is thicker. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe like I think the way she wears her her titty armor, like it shows more cleavage on like Katria. The cat's just thicker. Uh, let's go for another red. Maybe we can get another one. <laughs> that'd be that'd be really that'd be really stupid. But <laughs> I don't want to go after reds after this. Ah! <laughs> back to back, baby. <laughs> uh, please, please, like something that's not speed. Rez, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, I might merge her then. Okay. Uh, yo. Three, third time's the charm? Can we get him back to back to back? Can we get a turkey in this bitch? Turkey? Please! Oh, it's fucking Doga. Okay. Great. Whatever. What was I saying? Yeah, so Tatiana found Zeke, and he was unconscious, and he nursed- She nursed him back to health, and then they fell in love. He's like, oh shit, dude, this girl's hella cute. And they got married and shit. And then, you know, they helped Om in his, 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 his war. And then suddenly one day, Camus like remembers his, he's like, oh, wait a minute. I got a bitch back home. Wait, I'm not even from this goddamn country. So he goes back home to Arcanea and he's like, oh shit, there's another war going on. Way to go, Marth. And what happened was that we did get Harden earlier. So what happened was that Nina got married to Harden because of like, I think some political shit. And then Harden goes evil, so like, Nina just can't catch a break, the poor lady. She... <laughs> she she loses her first husband, and then her second husband gets turned to evil. So, what happens is that... Okay, so yeah, so like, Camus, like, he, he put... He forgot his memory, he forgot his name! So they're like, okay, let's name you Zeke, and he's like, I bet, whatever. So then when he remembers his shit, he's like, I, I can't show my face because I'm disgraced or whatever. And he goes back as like... Ar he goes to Arcanea as... Sirius, that's his new name. So <laughs> he's got a lot of names and, and 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 identities and shit, which is, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'll take it. He's a, he's a great character. Um, he saves Nina, but it's not like a good. I guess it's not good for her because he's like, I I'm sorry, girl, but I lost my memory and I got a bitch back home with green hair and she's a lot cuter than you so I'm going back to Valencia and Nina's like, I, I'm sorry, I miss you <laughs> poor Nina oh yeah, and Harden dies of course because he's evil so Nina just can't catch a break I do want her in the game at some point uh, she is on my, my, my bingo, bingo bango which is weird because like I, I looked at my, my bingo board and I'm like we have all these characters that are like being released but like I want resplendence and I want alts and they're not happening. Luthier! <laughs> I guess that's a good transition. Uh, Luthier is a pretty good popular character too. Um, he is sister neutral. I'll take it. 
he is sisters with Dor- Delphia, who's like a spoiled little brat, and she's like a gifted mage. But unfortunately, Luthier wasn't gifted, so like he has to train and shit, which kind of made him like a recluse, which a lot of people relate to. And he's like socially inept, and he's like, oh, I have no friends except this cat, and the only friend other than the cat is Alm, who's like friends with everyone because Alm is a good boy. <laughs> so a lot of people resonate with Luthier. <laughs> Okay, we're done with red, we're done with green, so I, gu- I guess we're just going with blues! Quan! Get the Quan, boys! Another tragic character, holy shit. We're just heading like sad boys today. <laughs> Neutral, what the hell? I'll take it. Uh, and the final character, I guess, is Fernand. He is a traitor. He's a traitor to. Fuck, what's his name? The, the blue guy with, like, the fucking mole on his cheek, and, like, he's blonde. I forgot his name. He betrays him because he's like, oh, I don't like peasants. Man, our, our legacy is supposed to be about rich people and noble knights. Man. And he goes he goes bad, but he has this redemption arc later on. He's a pretty good character, too. Like, Val- Shadow of Valencia, like, it's got high highs and low lows. Lows, of course, are the maps and the and the the fighting and shit. But like the high highs are the characters and the story and everything and the graphics. I mean, it's 3DS, so you're g- going to be limited a little bit, but it's, it's still pretty good. And then there's not who I don't care about because like it's just Rhea with tit with well, obviously tits and also like abs. But like I don't really care about OCs usually. She looks nice, so like I I won't deny the fact that. I wouldn't mind having her on my barracks because big titty, strong ab woman is pretty hot. But I don't really care about her story because I don't care about the story in this goddamn game. <laughs> so recently we had a voting gauntlet. Uh, I don't remember what the premise was, but my girl Mercedes was an option and I failed her because I think we got knocked out in the first round. Which fucking sucks because you you goddamn idiots didn't back her up. Like I think Klein beat her. How? I don't know how. So I'm a little bit upset. I mean, granted, <laughs> I didn't have access to my account for a little bit, and I wasn't able to play for a little bit. <laughs> so I actually missed a, quite a few orbs for a little bit. Feels like shit. Goddamn it. <laughs> but I think who was it that won? I don't remember. Was it? Corin or Robin, one of those two. So that kind of sucked. And speaking of which, like I, I didn't have access to my account and even like my computer for a little bit. So I, I didn't expect the Shadows of Valencia banner to drop uh, like that early. I was like a day late to my reaction video, which I don't expect it to. Dr- I don't. Ex- I, I think it like just broke 50 views, which is kind of disappointing. But go check it out. I scream because Tatiana. <laughs> Recently, we also had a mythic hero, and it was Ashura, who was, was, I think a lot of people wanted her. Strangely enough, though, there's only been two male mythic heroes. I think it's Lif, Leaf, whatever the fuck his name is, Duma, and then technically, Bramimond. Technically. But, like, two. Like, what the, what the fuck? There's been so many big titty girls here. What the heck, man? This shit's sexist. And Asher's pretty cool. She's uh, the god of chaos, and her animation's a throwback to Radiant Dawn. Not Radiant Dawn. Yeah, Radiant Dawn, where she like turns everyone to stone with like a light beam. So it's pretty cool. I, I decided to pass because like I don't, I don't really care about the mythics. I'll be honest. I, I I really like the legendary heroes, but like just mythics are just kind of a pass. There's Valbar. He's a SOV character. Let's just fill up. Let's just fill up this uh, circle. I mean, we need three more, so let's just grab them. Maybe we'll get another Luthier. Uh, I do kind of want Raisin. Like, I have all these characters I want to build up, but like, I can't because they just don't show up. Like, I want Reinhardt. I want Elliewood, Raisin. Uh, I think I want to build a Kagero and a Mercedes on the alt account as well. Bowie, that's another SOV character. Cool. I think he was the last green uh, mage released. Which is weird, because no one really expected Luthier. I wasn't, was expecting Luthier to be red, but he's green. And Rebecca. She needs a resplendent. I don't remember if she's on my bingo board, but, like, goddammit, dude. I love her character, and her artwork sucks. 
<laughs> okay, um... Crap. Uh... I don't know, dude. Shit, like, she has DC and everything. I don't... Mm. The thing is, like, I can get Zeke whenever, like, technically speaking, like, he could pity break me. And, like, there's more competition as a blue, uh, cavalry. But, like, Tatiana, I, she needs her husband. But, like, I need my waifu with abs. <laughs> oh. God damn it, I don't know who to pick. I'm thinking not. Yeah, this is my alt account, so... It, it, it's more about efficiency than, like, actual preferences. Oh, that sucks. I don't like this, but I'll take it. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Tatiana! Damn, look at her! <laughs> I am not. Hotun Humors! Next queen. I hope we can forge friendly relations between blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's great. All right, um, I don't really have much else to say. Damn, look at her. Holy shit, look at those legs. My God, Jesus. She's dirty. She's so dirty, dirty. The fuck is this pose? I think we got some refines coming up, or I think they were released, I don't remember. Uh, Spring Storina was one of them, which I'm a little bit upset because I think she say she shares the banner with Spring Kagero, so Spring Kagero could have been gotten real fine, but eh, blah, 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 blah. probably next time I do a summoning video, I'll bitch about Fallen Elogard because that's a hot topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, summoned on this video, on this on this banner, and I hope you had a good time. And I love you all. B bye, bye. Have a good night. <laughs>